Hey, it's Nick and it's back tonight. And tonight we're looking at the Puppy Linux 4.4 Community Edition Pre-Alpha. As you can see, it's a completely different look, although it's got some bits of 4.2 in there. Select the top bar, and then we can change the colours. I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to blue. Just for a change to see what happens. Now it comes with Stardust. And this is part of Stardust. So it's going to change the colour for us. I don't know too much about Stardust actually, so I'm going to read up about that. And we'll, when we come back to the next one, I'll tell you more about it. So, anyway, we're near there, and here we go. I think I should have kept it the other colour, really, shouldn't I? It's not very good. <laughs> for me, anyway. I can't see certain things, but I am blind, by the way. So, anyway, on our top bar, we have Terminal, Genie Text Editor, a File Finder, a Process Manager. Wireless, we'll get more into that in a minute. A calculator, print manager, and a screenshot. Mmm, nice. Super duper. And the one's got gone to blue, I can't see the other, but you've got lock screen all up there and exit, etc. So that's the first part. Now, I must say, booting is a lot quicker than normal. I've actually installed this to the hard drive, and the hard drive installation is a bit different to a normal puppy universal installer, but it does uh, find your internet connection straight away if you're Ethernet. I don't know about wireless, but I imagine it would do too. So we go to the menu, as it's still basically puppy like, and we go to the puppy control center. Now, as you can see, you can install programs, dependencies, etc. from here. Go to system, universal installer, install to USB, remaster, boot from floppy, and resize. From desktop, you can manage your trays, menus, themes, and wallpapers, screensavers here, lot of video cards, cups, etc. Got to be done fonts, all different fonts, time and date, mouse and keyboard, sound, configure your also put your MIDI stuff in, do the mix, uh, network, boot. Now, yeah, now when I installed it via the universe installer, it didn't automatically install Grub. You have to come out and do it with this Grub configurer. But it is the same as before, so don't worry too much. But just if you've been using Puck before and all of a sudden you get that screen, that's the reason why. So it does still install Grub for you automatically. No worries. Anyway, services, firewall, etc., and localization. So you've got your languages, time zones, and keyboards. Super. We'll go down the menu again, and we'll start going for it now. See Monkey as your web browser. Now, that's quite standard, anyway, isn't it? Now, bear in mind that this is a pre-alpha, so some of the stuff doesn't actually work. Although, if you go to the forums, to the place where the 4.4 is, you will find a lot of fixes there and the links to get the fixes for you if you want to do that, because it is quite usable in the state that it's in, so that's quite nice, isn't it? So what we do, we'll go down to the Puppy Linux community page, or, no, we'll go to the Puppets, there we go. So yes, it does work, it's not just a screen, it all works. This is another one with this grey theme. Now, I'm not too sure if I like this grey theme or not, or maybe it's just my eyes, I don't know. Blind as a bat. You know, here's the forum, so if you did want to install the extra bits and test it and give some feedback to the guy, Please do. He would be greatly appreciative. Well, I'll go back to search, and of course I'm going to go here to make sure it all loads up before they cut the funding for it anyway. So there we go. It's taken a bit of time, as it normally does. Go to the news page. This looks like Sea Monkey always does. I still can't get used to the grey theme though, but you probably need to change that. But I've just not been playing with it enough to actually do that at the moment. So we'll go to the technology page, make sure that loads up fine. Yes, lovely. Even though I've got quite a slow net again. Just tells you about Apple soon HTC over the phone. Read more about it if you want to. Could mean some lot of changes if they get that one. Anyway. See if we go to the main page. You got there eventually. There we go. Nice and bright. Is Flash pre installed? That's the other one we want to know, isn't it? So you wait a bit, we wait a bit, wait a bit. It's always like this anyway, won't worry too much. Well it is where I live. Now from the look of that Flash is pre-installed, so I'm not going to click to play. We'll come out and do some more stuff because I'm going to get quite a bit in this video before I start playing around with it. So anyway, Woof. Now Woof is a converter from audio and video files to different audio and video files. As far as I'm aware, it's based on WFmpeg. Maybe not. Who knows? But as you can see, loads and loads of formats there for you to transco to. So I'll be giving that a play with anyway a bit later on or maybe tomorrow, when I've got some time. What else? 
no, default browser, which is still Seabunky, but I've actually been somewhere else as well. Now you get a link to the tiny call repos here, look. So, as far as I'm aware, you could actually use these, but don't uh, quote me on that one, because I've not been using it enough to make sure. Get yeah, P-Music, M-Paint, Inkscape, Late, GXScene, HTM, Abbey Bird. Nice and fast. There we go. Now, we we'll get to the point before where we had the other pups about a year ago. Well, they were just too fast, look, see what I mean? You can't get there quick enough, it's just so quick. Which is what you want. Looks alright to me. Anyway, we're getting along now. I just want to show you a few more things so you can go out and download it yourself. Bearing in mind it's just under 100 meg, I think. So if you've got a nice quick connection, it'll take a couple of minutes, run it from the disk, see what you think. Remember, pup runs in RAM anyway, so just make sure you've got plenty of RAM. Usual puppy menu on this section here. Fast, you've got rocks there. Usual there. Documents everywhere, etc. Ebook reader as well. Home bank that also needs a fix as well, as far as I'm aware. Uh, network section and internet section. And you see the tiny core SFS repositories there too. So that's pretty good. But I will give that a go a bit later, I think. Excuse my voice. Multimedia. Yes, we've got Woof and we've got Pup Radio Streaming Audio. Now, I don't know what this is based on. If it's based on anything, it might be a completely new build. But it's just streaming radio. And as you can see, they're not for the UK, are they? But you can just get the URL of your said radio station. Chuck it in there. And in theory, we should play. And again, I've not actually tested that bit myself. But I'm going to, and I'll give you what I get in a couple of days when we get out of there. So more multimedia, audio players, me a fan, blah 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 blah. Games. Here we go. Should we try a game? Might as well. Clip on Rubik's Cube. Obviously that bit don't actually work just yet. But I'll be working on that bit, don't you worry about that. So, pretty good. If you right click, you only get this now, okay? You don't get the full menu. Well, what more can I show you? Apart from the network, I'm really pleased about that. Auto connection on the network is well, well been needed for quite a while. Helps a lot of people out because, in actual fact, people actually get stuck on that. I oh, know, I oh, know, but you know, if they've not used Linux at all before, this is what happens. Well, I'll go to the README on the F SFS linker. Now, if you don't know how to do this or what anything it's about, just click on it, give it a read, and it'll tell you what to do and where to put the files, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah. It's quite usable in the state as soon as it is, to be honest with you. So, yeah, go ahead and give it a try. I can't wait to get on with the next bit. Sneaky Linux going out for something. See you later.